Hey everyone, I'm Renee Ritchie, and right now I'm giving you a tour of my podcast studio 2.0. So, starting over here, we have a standing desk. Now, I didn't get one of those fancy standing desks. I got two separate IKEA shelves, put the wheels on them. They're a good height, they work fine, they have lots of storage, like for comic books and things. They work perfectly well. Here, I have a stand. I used to use it for my MacBook Pro. I'm using it just for the keyboard now because that's all I really need. I'll show you why in a second. Over here, I have the same Hale microphone I've been using for a while. I did upgrade to the new um, holder for it because my old one broke, but this one is a nice, more compact piece. Uh, over here, I have the same Logitech 920 camera that I've been using. It's on a tripod right now. I will be changing that in the near future. I'll tell you why in a few minutes. Here I have an Apple LED display. Uh, this is just so I can set things up before the show starts. Magic trackpad, because uh, once you go trackpad, you just can't go back to mouse. I'm, I'm sorry if you're an aficionado, but you just can't do it. Um, underneath here I have the headphones. These are the over-the-ear headphones I use when I'm doing audio podcasts. They are the same ones I was using previously. I also have in-ear headphones when I'm doing Mac Break Weekly or the I'm War Show. I still love the Ultimate Ears because they have this clip which makes them much less likely to fall out. I use these for debug, iterate, vector, all the other shows. Spinning around a little bit, I've got another set of IKEA shelves here which I use sort of like set decoration. Um, if we start at the corner here, this is just fun. This is Batman Arkham Asylum because Lego's great and Batman is great and together it's like chocolate and peanut butter. What could be better? Here we have the first generation iPad mini and the first generation iPad. Bunch of Canon camera equipment. I never, I never knew where to store this and some people said just store it in your camera bag, but here at least it's visually interesting and I can get to it quickly when I'm taking shots for iMore and other things. Here I have the first generation Apple TV and the second generation Apple TV and their respective controllers. Over here I have all the different iPhones from the original iPhone, iPhone 3G, iPhone 4, 4S, uh, iPhone 5. And back there I've got the Steve Jobs plushie and the Steve Jobs action figure. And a couple uh, Hue lights. They use the Hue lights for the background lighting um, on the podcast stage. Here I have a variety of other phones. I have my old Palm Pre, Palm Pre Plus, Nokia 1020, um, Blackberry uh, Z10, and a Nexus 5. And I use those to test, for example, the iMore app on Android or just to keep up with the other platforms. Down here I have a variety of wearables, quote unquote, including you know iPods, uh, I have the Pebble watch, the iPod Nano watch, and I have a bunch of different fitness bracelets, all different stuff I test out on occasion. Here we have a Cheese Grater Mac Pro, the original Nehalem Mac Pro, it used to be on my desk, now it's part of the, the set dressing. iPad 2 that I use sometimes to read show notes and things. Over here is just a, take that out, poor Wonder Woman. Down here I have a collection of other stuff including some extra audio equipment I'm not using right now. I switched to the Apogee One as an audio interface so I managed to get rid of a lot of stuff. I have an air print printer I just test occasionally, an uh, uninterruptible power supply, and some badges from trade shows past. Circling around, I have bicolor lighting. I don't know how well they'll come through in the video but that lets me do both white and yellow light so I can balance them to match the other lighting in the room. I also have a big Samsung television that I use while I'm doing the video shows, especially Mac Break Weekly and the iMore show, so I can see everyone else. It's not an ideal setup because I'm looking through the camera, which can give me a lot of eye strain later. So what I want to do for 3.0 for the studio is actually uh, either get a floating desk element or get another shelf, move this monitor here, put this on top of that and remove that shelf and TV from the setup. Um, if you guys have any ideas for what would work right there, tell me. Also, I have several shelves here that still need to be filled, so if you have ideas for great tech or great cool gadgets or just fun stuff in general to put there, also let me know. So right now, this is where I'm podcasting from. This is my studio. I'm Renee from imore.com. For more great videos, check me out on youtube.com slash imorevideo or follow me on Twitter at, at Renee Ritchie.